But you take a look at the Yankees offense. And again, we're not talking about, you know, double digit hits, Jack. We're, but we're talking about, as Flash said last night, timely hits and guys coming up with big hits a la Stanton or maybe an RBI double. We're also talking about Charlie Morton, who is in the midst of a great season out of the game after five innings. So when your offense can do that, your offense is accomplishing something. We talked about how Morton throws his curveball more than 40% of the time. StatCast actually has a category where they rank it as the best curve in Major League Baseball. Yankees went three for 11 with six strikeouts against that pitch. But of those three, two were home runs. So when Morton made a mistake on that pitch, the Yankees took advantage of it and then they tacked on. You had Sanchez add an RBI single. You had Odor with that late home run. So just enough offense to get them through tonight. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago, Jack. We were talking about the Yankees couldn't get a big hit in a big spot. Now you look at seven hits tonight, which you picked, and four <laughs> of those were productive. The three home runs and the Gary Sanchez base hit where he just had an RBI opportunity, blocked one off the other way. So it's been 10 runs in two games against an Atlanta Brave team that has a really good pitching staff, and it hasn't been because they've been beating up on them. Just just taking advantage of the opportunities, getting some big hits and big spots. Let me ask you a quick follow-up. What does it mean to the guys in the clubhouse? Remember when we came into this series and we said Braves had won nine in a row, 16 and 19. They were steamrolling. Yankees were doing the same. You got by this game. You won last night handily 5-1. to one. You just kind of steamed rolled your way through town for two games before you head to Oakland. What does that mean to these guys? Well, it, it means a lot because I think we talked about the Minnesota series at home, a team that the Yankees have owned. But you go into Atlanta when they're playing great baseball, winning nine in a row, and you kind of throw yourselves out on this team and say, let's see where we match up. In every category right now, offensively, pitching, and defense, the Yankees match up with any, any team in Major League Baseball. So you take these two wins, you get on a plane tonight, you enjoy yourself, you enjoy the off day, and then you look forward to four on the West Coast against Oakland, and then you go on to Anaheim. But what a great start against a really good team in the National League winning two. You also won these two games with starters who went five innings in one game, four innings in another. A lot of times you might criticize that, but that was the Yankees' game plan. With a day off leading into this series and a day off tomorrow, there is no doubt that Aaron Boone knew he was going to improve employ his bullpen a lot in both nights had to do it more tonight they got four innings from Heaney who actually pitched decent after that first inning and has looked better in his last two starts than he had looked this was the first start he didn't give up a home run but they leaned heavily on their bullpen and that's why I do believe when it's not Cole and maybe not Tyone in a potential postseason start you're going to see this kind of strategy you're going to see them go to a Loizaga or a Green in the fifth, sixth inning because that's where their strength lies.